Hello everyone. In this lecture, let us look at some important test of grape and the important IPM strategies to control the pest. Grapes, scientific name of grape is Vitis vinifera. So one of the important fruit crops of India used to for table purpose, resin and wine making with good medicinal value due to the presence of large amount of antioxidant. Uh, here insect pest of the important production constraints in grape cultivation apart from disease. In grape, 85 species of insect pests has been uh, reported in India. Okay, among them, mealy bird, thrips, leaf hopper, mites, flea beetle, girdle beetle, stem borer, and leaf uh, folder are the some important pests to cause the severe damage to wine guard. Here, there are two classifications. Uh, one is the national significant, another one is regional significant pest. Okay. So, in the case of the national significant, generally the mealy bird, flea beetles, the gutel beetle, then some species of thrips, hopper, stem borer, and leaf eating caterpillars and leaf folders. There. And uh, if you look at the regional significant, you'll get some species of mite and chaffer beetles and leaf rollers and scale insect. Okay. Now, coming to the mealy bug. There are two important species of mealy bug which comes on the grapes. One is the Pherisia virgata, another one is Meconolicaucus irsutus. And these species are quite persistent. They are found throughout the year and almost all part of the grapes in India. Uh, in fact, quite severe in major grape growing states in India. Both adult and nymphs are, uh, are causing damage and they are found congregating on leaves, buds, shoots, nubs, flowers as well as on the bunches. So if they are continuously sucking the cell sap from the leaf, then such leaves will develop crinkling, curling symptom and ultimately they will dry and wither off. And most important is if they are attacked on flowers or flower panicle and the bunches. Where on the flowers usually you will see them sucking the cell sap and the result is there will be a poor fruit setting. And on fruits, complete stack and as well as berries will be infected by the mealybug. So which not only reduces the quality of the fruit but also it leads to drying and dropping of the fruit. Then coming to thrips, scientific name of thrips is Cytothrips dorsalis. So which which again is quite serious of both on leaves as well as on tender berries. Here also both nymphs and adults will cause a damage. And in fact on the leaf, they usually remains at the under surface and then scrap the leaf tissue. And as a result, you get a silvery patches and also curling of the leaves. But most important is that uh, damage that cause on tender berries. So they usually scrap the skin of the tender berries. Initially the affected parts will develop the white patches and later such patches will become brown and get a patchy or corky appearance and which sometimes will split open leading to secondary infection or ultimately leading to poor development of the bunches. And next one is flea beetle. This is another important pest which is uh, Scledonta strylicolis, okay, which is small beetle. Both adult and grubs also will cause a damage. In fact, adult will lay eggs in soil around the trunk region and the grub will feed on roots of this the vine. And so as a result, the severe cases if population is very high, then usually wilting symptom is but most serious is the adult stage, which normally attacks a new flesh or younger leaf. So soon after pruning, when a new flesh emerging, then the this beetle will start feeding on the new flesh and the younger leaves, which ultimately leads to drying up of the leaf. And this will in fact, uh, which affect the inflorescence development and also branch formation. And next one is mites. To some extent, you get severe species of mite attacking the red spider mite and other mites, mainly on leaves. 
By remaining on the undersurface, they will scrap the leaf tissue and then feed on the plant sap. As a result, you see the white patches and the discoloration of leaves. Then leaf folder is an occasional minor pest. Okay, so the larvae has a habit of rolling and folding the leaves, then scrapping the internal content. And in the severe form, sometimes so it affects the photosynthesis activities and affect the development of plant. And this one stem girdle in some cases so they do cause on serious damage, but it's again an occasional pest only. And beetle has got peculiar habit of cutting the twigs of these vines and then laying eggs here. And as a result, drying up of shoots is going to take place. This is very peculiar symptom and this will affect the inference development and also fruit setting. This one is stem borer. It's also occasional pest. It's a serambicity beetle. Okay. This also both grubs and adults will cause a damage. So they make a neat holes and trunk as well as branches. And initially what you see is the accumulation of frost at the base of the vine. And also you see gamosis or using a resinous substance from the hole by which you can actually detect the presence of the beetle. And above the ground, we normally see the yellowing up of the leaves and dropping of leaves. Okay. Next one is hopper, Emposca species will cause a damage on uh, plants with, by both nymphs and adult stage. Especially on leaves, they will suck the cell sap resulting in yellowing of leaf borders and also leads to curling of leaves. Some leaf eating caterpillars like Spodotra occasionally comes and cause damage in grapes. You all know that the nature of damage which cause in the other crops uh, by the leaf caterpillars. Similarly here also the same scrapping initially and then later defoliates the plant. Okay. Coming to ETL concept, here uh, one need to understand before taking up of any control measure is ETL. Okay, for BT, for flea beetle, it should be 20% foliar damage and for mealybug, 1% bunch infestation. For thrips, 5 thrips per young leaf and for leaf webber, 10% of incident is uh, ETL value. Then for integrated management, once again, the orchard is quite essential to maintain clean land and uh, a good sanitation in orchard. Removal of debris, weeds, affected pots, berries are uh, this required. Okay. And you should keep on orchard as clean as possible. And this will actually take care of majority of pests. Then, for uh, mechanical control, usually in the case of stem borer, you should keep actually physically remove so in fact you can physically remove this with uh, using a sharp knife or needle and then kill the grub okay and then another important thing is the removal and destruction of affected shoot or excess dead wood from the canopy during prune and uh, for free beetle the shaking of wine in order to dislodge the adult here adult have the habit of dropping even with a slight disturbance Okay, so you can put a stray under the wine and this and then simply shake it. Then all the beetle can be collected in the trays and they can be killed with the kerosenized water. Okay. Coming to biological concept, especially for mealybug is a uh, cryptolemus montresor is a ladybird beetle which has been recommended at the rate of ten beetle per wine. So which we effectively take care of the soft body insect, all soft body insect okay. And apart from that, we have the neem based insecticide like the NSKE 5% or commercial neem can be used against majority of the pest for repellent. So they, can, they are chemical which have been recommended so against various pests and which has to be employed looking into ETL value. Well, so this about uh, important pest uh, and their management through the integrated approaches in grape. Okay, here I end my presentation. Thank you.